All right, guys. I haven't gave any update on the um, Chevrolet Express 3500 van that I've been fixing up, but basically I did buy two fairly brand new, I think it was like a 12, 30 seconds tread of Michelin LTX Defenders. So I got two of them, put them in the front. I repainted the rims with gray or silver. Um, I think they say silver, but it's, it's silver um, by Pour 15. Awesome paint. I love Pour, uh, Pour 15 paint. And I also welded in these seats. So I got these from the salvage yard. They're tan and my interior is kind of tan, but it's I think it was gray and then the sun has kind of like faded it to where it looks tan so it, I guess it to me it looks like it blends in good on camera but it doesn't really blend that well on uh, in you know in person but I do have my refrigerator in here that I bring right now it's just full of snacks and water um, but sometimes I'll hook that up to my goal zero generator or i'll just plug it directly to, to the van depending on what i'm doing but i'm already ready to go into the chainsaw stuff but i'm trying to get the ac so i got my vacuum pump i've got the low side open right now and i replaced the schrader valve for the low side and then i finally replaced the Trader valve for the high side and the part that I went with is a doorman Let's see if I can find it right quick this is the part number here so advanced auto is $11 for that part uh, waited two days for Amazon Prime and I got it for, I think, $5 and some change. So I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon. It, I don't truly need it, you know, right there. I'll order on Amazon. I don't have to buy it from the auto parts store. But I, I've been holding a vacuum for at least 10 minutes. And I'm going to turn the low valve off, turn the pump off, and then let it sit and wait 30 minutes to see if the pressure has gone down because right now I'm at negative 30 there so when I turn everything off I want to see it stay there if it doesn't stay there if it goes back to zero that means I still have a leak so but getting to the chainsaw stuff I did buy the G8 and I did put fuel I mean not fuel um, <clears throat> it is a fuel cap but I put steel name brand caps on here. So I got them for the fuel and for the oil. Um, I did order a 404 bar, which I guess I can take it on in there. So I did get a 404 bar from Archer. This is their Pro Max. 42 inch 404, uh, 123 drive. So, and it did come with a free chain. Uh, it didn't cost a lot, but I don't like the um, ripping chain. I like a skip tooth because it's less um, you know, chain that I have to sharpen. So that's, but it's not a problem. It's, it looks to be a pretty good chain. I've been using Holtz Warmer chain and I don't have really nothing bad to say about that, but I'm going to try out Archer and then in the future, I'll probably try out, um, GB. And because I want to know how to change the nose out to a 3 8 that way then I can run 3 8 chain instead of 404. 
because I plan on buying, you know, rolls of three eighths and then I just want to put them up here because this is a 404, um, but a 0 0.063. So all my other chainsaws are three eight by 0 0.063. So if I just change the nose here, I should be able to run the 404 which I might have to change the sprocket. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I, I reckon I'll have to change the sprocket. But right now I'm just gonna run what it calls for. So 404, and if I need to, I will get another cha chain and make it skip tooth. Oh well. Just standing here with my umbrella. This is what I get for not pulling it in the garage. Oh well. And check this out. I've had this hood solar panel on my forerunner for months now. And it was black. So I don't know exactly what has happened. It still works completely fine. Um, but in reality, I actually like the way it turned. I don't know if y'all remember what this solar panel looked like when I first installed it, but you could see the grid pattern and it was like a rich black. Now it's like a silver um, gray. And that's actually cool because the Forerunner is silver. So when you look at it now, it's not a huge, you know, eyesore of it being, you know, um, black. So I actually like it being silver. And then here comes the rain. So got to get all my stuff. I did get the AC fixed in the van. I had to find that little valve for the AC cans. So it looks like this. I was able to get it. Here, that's what it looks like right there. So I had to find that. And then I had four cans from Walmart that I put in the system. So yeah, I got the van. AC was blowing cold last night. I haven't tried it today, but everything in the system, I just left. So all I did was put new Schrader valves for the high and low side. And I think that's, I think that's basically it. The, it, it held the vacuum for hours because I, I left it there and I was trying, I, you know, ate supper. I had to look through all my junk and find that um, piece for the AC cans. And yeah, so let me get these uh, windows up because I know I left the windows down on the Civic. guys after new spark plug had to go on amazon and get a carburetor tool because it's the i think it's a 21 spline and the head on it has to be really really small to get in between here it fits right inside of there and there's two adjustment screws for the car i got that all worked out because what happened with this um husky 128 ld if you ran it on half choke it would stay on and run great but if you took the choke off it would idle and then when you would hit the throttle 
it would bog down and you would have to feather it to keep it running or if you went full trigger it would die so the motor would go out um all i did was new spark plug and it's the champion let me see if i can find it. all right after an hour of looking i found them i got four champion rcj 8y and i can't remember what i paid for these but i got them off of amazon for a deal i want to say it was four for 15. could be wrong though but yeah, I'll put that in there. New spark plug, tune the car, boom. She runs completely fine now. Check out this uh, American Sycamore here. This is my one out of two that I have um, basically transplanted. So this one here only had this one leaf. So all of these are new here. Those are new. And I've got some bud, two buds at the bottom coming out. This one here looks like it's forming. So, pretty pleased. And then I just tied them up with some stretch band here because the wind was really killer the other day and they were just blowing uh, all of my seedlings. So, I had to put some straps. Like, I put a, a uh, strap on the dogwood tree I have because that's a, a seedling too. So, yep. Oh show you what the other sycamore ceiling looks like too here's my pin oak ceiling He's very small. He just started to bloom. And then here's my shag bark hickory. And this is my other sycamore here. So this is new growth. This is new growth. Basically everything from this bud and up is new growth. And this is another piece of sweet gum that I've got to slab up. I'm trying to figure out how I want to orinate it. So what I'm going to do is lay it to where it's facing, you know, like this, and then slab through there. But I've got to figure out how wide I can get it because I kind of want to cut it along there or I could cut it after I slab it. But the thing is, is this looks about 50 inches or more there. So I'm gonna have to cut back down on it. That way I can fit my chainsaw mill on it. All right, I'm working on this um, table centerpiece here. So I'm just doing a 18 inch long piece of walnut and I've got to cut it off here to be 18 inches. And then I'm going to recess with some Forstner bits, these LED light candles, and then it's going to go 
nine inches and then four and a half and then four and a half this way. And I'm basically gonna keep kind of a sawmill edge, but I'll sand, you know, the tops around and then I'll sand this live edge here just to keep it kind of rusted looking. And then I had to fill in a lot of wormholes and that's basically it so and i use ca dark brown glue or ca you know glue for those and i just got to sand those out but this is going to be a really beautiful piece because the heart grain looks amazing and then you've got all this spalting in the sapwood but i think this is going to look really nice once i get it finished i don't know if i want to do a natural finish and go with my tongue oil mix or do a polyurethane or a spar urethane. I haven't really decided. Knowing me, I'll probably do the natural finish first and then if I don't like it, I'll put spar urethane over top. Because this isn't going to be used as a cutting board or anything like that, so I can just seal it up with whatever and that would be it but i like to keep a a natural finish on the walnut because it seems like it it would last forever and then you don't have like an artificial look to it which is what i don't like i don't really like to use polyurethane or polyacrylic or any kind of um, substance like that so but we'll see here's the original mattress factory difference for yourself when the sun goes down, the fun turns up. This summer at Bush Gardens, escape the storm on the all-new Dark Coaster, now open. Feel the crush of world-class rides and the all-new indoor show.